Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another business vlog for you. I wanted to start it off because I just got something in the mail and I wanted to share it with you. I opened it up because I'm like, I don't even know what this could be. <laughs> but it is my stickers. I kind of thought that they'd come in a roll like my previous stickers. I didn't order them from the same place. Yeah, they've come like this, which I don't know how I feel about that. <gasps> They look so good. I'm so happy with them. Yeah, really, really happy with them. I do wish that they came in a roll though. Like I will say that. This is the start of a new week. So I am currently thinking of like the products for the next launch as well. So I'm looking into that. I'm writing down ideas and I'm going to look up some wholesale toy places as well, just because I've seen some toys and they're beautiful wooden toys. They have exactly what I'm looking for. And so I've never looked into wholesale before. So I might just inquire into that and see what the process is because like, I mean, a lot of other people do it so it must work out okay I don't know oh, this is so cool it's so strange seeing like your logo on something that isn't like your phone or like your computer screen like actually holding it in person is just a surreal feeling Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, these are awesome. I kind of ruined this one when I took it out of the package, but I've got my satchels. Oh my god. <laughs> these are so cool. So they're just black with the white on them. Not every vlog is gonna be like this because I don't have stuff coming all the time or I won't have stuff coming all the time. But I got my calico bags. So these are it. Now, one thing, and I probably should have just asked how much it was, but they're all the same size logo because they explained to me that it would cost more to get more of like the things that I guess, you know, write it in there made. But um, I might just ask how much extra it is because honestly, I'd prefer this to be a smaller logo and probably this one a bit bigger. I did also get these string things that I ordered and the safety pins. However, I really should have asked <laughs> to see like the size of these before doing it because I ordered the ones that are too long so I have been doing these on the tags anyway um, because I'll need to use them up um, but yeah they're just like a little bit too long for exactly what I wanted so I've had to go ahead and order the shorter ones of these and some smaller safety pins but yeah these are the tags so I just ordered them from like a same day printing company or something so next time when I have more time I might um, do a bit more research and get ones that are like a little bit nicer, a little bit thicker. I'm happy that I'll have like the tag on most things, which is really, really cool. I also got my rattles. So these are the rattles. I just think that they're so darling. It's really important that kids use their imagination. So having simplistic things like this, not too cartoon kind of looking, they create their own features and I, I don't know, I just feel like it's a really important thing and never underestimate a rattle <laughs> because Daisy, like for, I don't know, she, even now, like she loves her rattles. There's something that she sees every day. She gets used to the characters. We've named them all. And um, yeah, I just... I think that these are stunning. I think they're gorgeous. I probably, now that I'm seeing them in person, shouldn't have got all of the colors. Like I feel like I could take out this kind of vanilla color and potentially maybe like this color and that would have left a good range. But um, anyway, you learn these things and I just think that they're absolutely so cute. So right now I'm still waiting on um, some headbands and hats and then all of the silicon like eating stuff like the bibs bowls plates and the brush sets as well and then when i have all of that i can launch so fingers crossed that all comes next week okay so it is the 22nd of june today i'm hoping to launch dash Mail next week but i just don't know some of this stock is just taking a little bit longer than i thought <laughs> 
These are so cute. Yay! Okay, so these ones I, were, I was just so excited about. We have these gorgeous ribbed hats and these two different styles of headbands. So one with like a thicker rib knit and then this one's like a thin rib knit. Then these little top knot hats. Um, these are such beautiful quality and I love them. <laughs> so there's some more colors. I haven't got them all out, but yeah, very excited about these. Hey guys, so uh, it's Sunday today, so I get to do a little bit of work. Yesterday I worked on the website. I added things like one of those pop-up notifications to sign up to an emailing list, which can give people a discount for their first order. What else did I do? I linked a Stripe account as well for payments. I looked at the emails that go out and adjusted them to suit the brand. I feel like I did a lot more than that. Um, I was playing around on Squarespace for so long. So this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I have personally, I've set up my own personal website. I've set up a website for my mom and then I've set up the Dashmail website. It's super easy to use. I can highly recommend it. I do have a coupon code to get you 10% off of your website or domain. So have a look down below or it'll be on the screen. But yeah, I'll show you around the website and um, show you exactly why I love Squarespace. Okay, so this is my website so far. Here is the little pop-up that I added. So I've changed it up a little bit because the shop was the front homepage, but I decided to make its own homepage. So we've got a gallery here of turbans and then baby essentials, uh, and then some headbands. Here we've got the Instagram linked. I love how you can link your Instagram. I've obviously only got one post. Um, so as the posts go up on Dashmail, I will actually, you'll see the whole grid here, which is awesome. It's so easy to link your socials. Here I've got another little product thing of newborn hat. So when you either click on the image, it'll take you to the hats, which is really cool. Or you can even uh, edit it to take it to any page that you like. Uh, and then I've got a silicon toys little gallery here. Now the thing that makes Squarespace so easy is the templates. So it has a bunch of amazing templates. So when I was choosing my template for Dashmail, I actually chose online store for a type and it brings up the best templates for an online store and I chose mine from here. I know I use this one for my mum's website which is also an online store um, but it gives you a great template to start with and you can just change the pictures, the colours, obviously the writing and logo but these make it so great to get you started. They have such amazing help guides so you can you can find out anything you need to do like how to connect your social account it'll tell you exactly how to do it and even has demo videos so if you get stuck for anything just type it in the help section um, they also have forums that can help you as well where people can ask questions they have amazing analytics now I don't have any analytics on this site because it isn't live but you can see the sales you can see where your customers are coming from uh, you can see product sales and traffic sources so where they're coming from in regards to what's 
source like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I've also got all of my socials linked up here. So we've got Instagram. This one here is TikTok. They haven't actually got a logo for TikTok yet. Um, and then I've got Pinterest here. So it'll take you straight to Dashmail's Pinterest. I haven't got anything on there, but I do plan when I start posting to socials that I'll post on Pinterest as well. They make it super easy and I love it. Yeah, there is how the website is looking so far. I'm really happy with the work that I've done on it. Um, I need to do a little bit more work, but um, yeah, it's looking really good. So I thought that there were a few questions that maybe I could talk about um, that you guys asked in the comments of my last video. So I know that there were a few questions about how do we know that the silicon is safe and about supplies as well. For me personally, when looking for supplies, I make sure that they have the um, relevant certificates. And I also, for the silicon especially, um, I'm just going to read it from the website. So it's BPA free, food grade, silicon, PVC free, lead free, metals free, phthalate free. I don't even know what that says. The main things are like BPA free and, and food grade silicon. That They're the only silicon products that I have purchased. Um, and then there are a few questions about suppliers. I personally have gone through Alibaba and I think that most people go through that. You can, of course, you can uh, Google search for suppliers or manufacturers of things uh, of what you're after, but I find that it's a little bit hard to find. There's just so many manufacturers and suppliers and it can be really difficult. When looking through Alibaba, or similar sites, you want to look at their rating. You want to look at how long that they have been performing business for, and you want to look at their like response rate, and um, you want to look at their reviews as well. All of these things are really important, but I personally have found the most important thing is to actually get samples. Um, that way you can test the quality yourself. Um, if it's a piece of clothing or something, you can put it in the wash, see how it washes, see how it wears. For me, when I went through doing my brushes, I ordered probably like eight different samples from manufacturers and some of them came and they were completely wrong to what I wanted. Um, and then some of them came and they were really good. Some of them were not as good quality. Some of them were fantastic quality and it's all about just, you know, ordering samples. Um, for in Australia, uh, <laughs> shipping is really expensive. Um, all of the products that I've ordered are from China and um, if you, for a sample, shipping is usually like $40 or something like that. And sometimes they offer free samples. Sometimes you have to pay for the samples. Um, and if you want to customize in any kind of way, you are more than willing, you're going to have to pay for that. A lot of them too take $100. And this is US dollars, by the way. Um, they take $100 for like a sample if something's customized pretty much. I highly recommend doing the samples because you would hate to order something and it be not what you expect. Uh, also wondering with the paint on any wooden products, is that lead free so safe for babies who may teeth on them? I personally don't have any wooden products with paint on them. Um, I am looking into wholesaling some baby products, wooden products. Um, so. I would assume that they have like their, their massive brands. So I'm assuming that they would be lead free. But of course that's something you look into when you look at the product description or you're talking to the supplier, you just, you check, you want to check, you know, uh, is the paint lead free or is the, is the silicon food grade silicon BPA free? Like you want to check those things. Like, I mean, I'm giving them to Daisy. I want these products to be safe as well. So, so um, someone else asked for some more tips on suppliers. It depends what you're after as well. Um, you would want to be talking to several suppliers all at once and you want to ask, you know, the, the quantity that you're after and the price, their best price, and then the shipping as well. As I said, shipping's really, really expensive, uh, sometimes more than the product itself. But yeah, if you're talking to like, you know, three at a time or, and you're happy with, you can pick one of them or you say, oh, this supplier can do it for this price. Can you match that? If you like that product better, it's like the dating realm, <laughs> like keep your options open, but don't commit until you're ready. <laughs> I've had a, a few questions asking how I came up with the name Dash Mail. So it's kind of like a bit of a play on words. I wanted something original. 
Um, I know a lot of baby brands have something to do with the name of their baby or, you know, they're like two babies' names, like something and something, but I wanted something different. I wanted something original and, um, of course, I wanted to check and make sure that do the domain was available and social media tags were available as well. That was really important to me that they could all be the same and uniform, but Dean and I were calling Penny a Dalmel. We'd be like, oh, look at the Dalmel, as in Dalmatian, Dalmel. I don't even know. I think Dean made it up. You know how you make up crazy nicknames for your pets? Um, anyway, we were doing the Dalmel thing. And then we were like, Dalmelly doos. And like, I was just playing on words like that. And then I saw, I don't even know if I have it here. There's a pen that I have. And it actually is from, uh, here it is. My friend bought this pen back from America and it's a dash pen from the Kardashian store and I just it was just sitting on my desk like this and I just saw the word dash and I'm like dash mal like it just came to me and I searched the domain and I'm like hmm I searched Instagram and stuff like you know trying to think because dash mail wasn't available um, on Instagram but I just made it into shop um, and that's how much how I came up with it so I don't know just a bit of a play on words someone asked about how it would be helpful to have an Australian perspective on things like what you would do and use for stock take and tracking sales and expenses I haven't organized anything but I'm gonna look into programs that run you know that and can link to Squarespace as well um, there's extensions on Squarespace that can you know help you with those things which uh, like I mean they do cost money and they can be quite expensive but I think that they'll make life easier so I'm kind of willing to just do it so someone asked for the exact unit that I had on Ikea okay so this is the unit that I got it was $246 and it is 99 by 51 by 173 centimeters so it just has the two mesh wire baskets and then the shelves I noticed that there was a comment about buying and selling up at a markup price why wouldn't we just buy direct and get it cheaper I don't get it and look, you guys have replied to Kimberly basically saying that's how stores run. <laughs> that's literally what everyone does in, that's how you run a store. You buy at a cheaper wholesale price and then you have a collection. And I think that I tried to explain this in my last video that this is a collection of things that I personally use, that I personally love and that I would want to make it easier for everyone especially like first-time mums um where having a place where they can get all of the same all of the things that they need all of the useful things um that was just my reasoning behind starting this. but with anything in life um with any store that you find unless maybe it's homemade but even then they sell at a markup price that's how stores run um <laughs> and of course Feel free to go to the direct supplier. Also, another reason is that the shipping will be sent from Australia, so it will be quicker. Sometimes when buying um, from overseas, you can wait up to a month or a couple of months um, waiting for that item, even though you get a cheaper price, but some people want things straight away. There's a few reasons why, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to sell a collection of things that I love for my baby and make it easy for people to get them. I often get questions on like ever since starting YouTube, like where do you get things? Um, or like, you know, what's the best thing to get? And it would be beneficial of me to be like, you can get it from my website. Like how cool is that? That I can say, yeah, I have it for sale and you can go on and buy it. Um, I don't know I think that that is amazing I guess uh, for me also I I do have plans to do other things with the website but I'm just starting with this as I said in my last video um, yeah starting small and I feel like with this business like the possibilities are endless like um, I'm looking at some clothing for hopefully the next launch if not a launch a little bit later down the track and I would love to have like you know a bit of a baby clothing label as well as toys 
Um, I'm interested in it all. I want to do it all. I think it's amazing. And I just have that entrepreneurial blood running through my veins. Like my mum is a business owner and it's just, you know, I work for myself. Like this is what I want to do. So, um, and I know a lot of you guys feel the same. A lot of you guys mentioned that you have your own businesses and it's just something that we can do in this day and age. And we are so lucky to do it. And I'm just sharing that experience with you. So yeah. <laughs> so in other news, there has, I think I updated you the other day, but there has been a delay in the airport in China. So I am waiting on three packages to be able to launch. And I said I'd launch in June and it's looking like they might not be here by the end of June. So I'm going to have to push back the launch, which is really annoying, but I don't think people mind like, I don't know. It's just like a week or two or something until I get the, the things. Um, I've got some brushes coming in and like brush sets for babies. And I've also got all of my silicon wear, the new tag strings and the new little safety pins. That's where that is. Um, but I still need to like, I need to get insurance. So if you are looking into insurance, go through an insurance broker. Um, I was recommended one from my accountant. So um, I used him or, you know, that company for my first one. So I'm just going to ring them up and um, ask what they need. That's where I'm up to with my business as of the 27th of June. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them in the next video. But like, this is my life at the moment. I'm literally not doing anything else between Daisy and setting this up. I just, I don't have time. So, um, yeah, it's all I'm doing. I'm not, <laughs> I have no life. So don't forget to check out Squarespace. I will have everything linked down below and use my code for 10% off of a website or domain. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.